solve the limits problem. Limit x tending to 0. We can rationalize this. 1 plus sin x minus 1 minus sin x per x. We can multiply and divide by this numerator. 1 plus sin x minus 1 minus sin x. We will take this as plus. It becomes easier to simplify. 1 minus sin x. Now why are we rationalizing this? Because if you substitute x as 0, we are going to get indeterminate. So we are going to get 0 by 0 form. That's why we have to rationalize this. Now this is of the form. If you take this as a and this is b, it's a minus b, a plus b, which is equal to a square minus b square. So let's use this. So what is a here? 1 plus sin x a square minus b square. And then we have x into root of 1 plus sin x plus root of 1 minus sin x. So your root and square will get cancelled. So we will have 1 plus sin x minus 1 minus into minus plus sin x. 1 plus sin x plus 1 minus sin x. So 1 and 1 gets cancelled. So we will get 2 sin x by Now we can get this sin x in the format of sin theta by theta by multiplying and dividing by 2 uh, x. Two sin x into x by x. X into root of one plus sin x. Sin x. So sin x by sin x becomes one. So we're left with two into x. Two x by x. x and x gets cancelled. So what we can do now, we can substitute x as 0 here. Because we know sin 0 is 0. So when you put x as 0, you will get sin 0, which is nothing but 0. So we will finally get 2 by 1 plus 0. We get 1 plus 0 plus 1 minus 0, which is 2 by root 1 plus root 1 which is 2 by 2 which is 1. 